So we're at a place called Black Star Burger. There's a number of you guys that are from Moscow, are from Russia, told me to come to this place. That is very unique in the sense that they serve black burgers and they serve uh, all these burgers actually come with these black gloves. So I guess they're super greasy or something like that where you're supposed to wear black gloves when you're eating these burgers. I ordered the biggest burger that was on the menu, so we'll, we'll go and see what it's all about. Is it a challenge? They claim it to be, kind of. We'll see what we get when we get it. What do I do with this? Does he just hold it? Oh, okay. Alright guys, so we got ourselves our black burger. Um, the best way to show you guys, I guess, is by picking it up and show you guys what it's all about. But the most important thing in here is um, taking out your black gloves. Like so. I like it because, you know, your hands can get greasy from a burger. You know, here you can be all ladylike and eat your burger in a messy way. And then you can, uh, you can leave after you're done. Okay, so let's take a look. And this burger, guys. Hold on, this, this is just for thumbnail. All right, so we're gonna give us a little taste test. I like the fact my hands are already super greasy, but I, I, it doesn't doesn't affect me right now. So let's just dive right into it. Mmm. It's got it's got some sweetness. I like some cranberry sauce on top. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this is all mayo. I'm going for it though. We, got, we had some sweetness in there, some nice beef in there. Pretty greasy, as you can tell by my hands. An interesting experience. Kind of gimmicky, obviously. Not the best burger I've had, that's for sure. It ranges on like a good burger, not an amazing burger, not a, not a shitty burger. Pretty good burger. I think this place actually has multiple joints, not just this place. So it's like a smaller joint. Now I get to just take off my gloves, just like so. And look at that, clean hands. Do you guys know me? Every time I've ever done an eating challenge and it like involves my hands, I would have to go to the washroom after and you know have to clean myself off. Not the case here. I, I think every single burger place, every single greasy place should actually come with gloves. Maybe I should open up my own joint in Toronto called the White Star Burger. So you put on nice, elegant white gloves, have a white bun. I'm onto something here. I'm onto something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you guys later. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It wasn't much of a challenge. There was a bigger burger there, but it wasn't like a black bun, so it wasn't kind of like unique, and even that bigger burger wasn't so challenge-worthy, if you will. I actually didn't realize the joint is owned by a very, very popular Russian rapper named Tamati. Uh, he owns like a clothing company as well. So, so if you guys are in Moscow, Russia, check it out. Uh, it was a fun experience, to say the least. Uh, I had a good time. A little quick announcement. Our D4L weight plate necklaces are 50% off until Sunday with 100% of 
proceeds going to testicular cancer research and awareness. If you guys are interested in grabbing one for you or a friend, uh, the link to get one will be in the description below. Also, if you guys caught last Friday's video with the pizza challenge that I did, uh, that Matt Stoney did and LA Beast did uh, years ago, in which I announced a new series I'm gonna be doing, Becoming Furious Pete. The first episode will air next Friday, so stay tuned. I'm super excited for it. I hope you guys are too. That's it for today. As always, we are Team Furious. We are dedicated for life. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, get gains.